Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. I'm doing really well and excited to share this project with you. This is a book that I created for Tim Holtz for his new Ideology 2020 release. And this, along with one other project, will be headed to Creativation 2020. And will also, if it makes it in time, be shared on his Facebook Live where he reveals his new products. Um, so anyway, you guys, I'm excited to share this little book. It's new to the line. It's made um, with a linen fabric and stitched all the way around every page, which makes it nice. It does all the work for you. I love that. And it, it will not fray, although I tried to make it fray because <laughs> I like that look. Um, but on the cover, I've used a little um, old products, but mostly new. Um, this monocle is the coolest. It's new to the line. And it actually has glass inside, which I thought was so cool. I love it. These little rhinestones are new. Um, they're, they already have the eyelet on them, which I like. It makes it so easy. And a little, I used a little story stick. These resin flowers are new, you guys. And they come in all different shapes, sizes, colors even. And this one was white. I just colored it to match my cover. And then check this out, you guys. This little clip really works. It really works. And it comes in the gunmetal gray. You get both colors. And I love those. They are the neatest. And um, this 20 here was, at, they're actually like the stencil chips, sort of, where they're actually cardstock, but they're made to look like metal. I'll show you what they look like. They're tall, like this, you can see. And they come in um, numbers. Uh, symbols, you know, letters, and I just cut mine down for the 20 to represent 2020, which I thought was appropriate. Um, so anyway, these are the little beaded berries from the Christmas release that I colored just to make, you know, I like that, that look popping out the top there. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I will show you what's going on inside here. This tie comes with it too, and I just cut mine in half and then stitch it front and back to tie on the side. Okay, so this first page, I've used a found relative and then just did some collaging around that um, with some new ephemera, a little bit of lace. These are a new chipboard pack. Um, it's really thick, I don't know if you can see that. And there's just all different things. I love, I love that, I love everything, you guys. You know me, I love Tim Holtz. Um, so a little of the new ephemera, um, this tag is a new addition to the line. There's a whole pack of tags, you guys, and I just used a part of one sticking out the bottom there with a little bit of string. They come with string too. I'll show, in fact, I'll show you. I got them right here. Okay. This is what the tags look like. Just all different shapes, sizes, colors, and they're double-sided, which I love. I mean, for us journal makers, that's, that's pretty cool. I like that. And then I used over on this side the um, stencil chips over some, some of the memoranda papers. This, you guys, is this little number. It, there's a new rub-on pack. So I put a little rubby there and just different ephemera layered, layered up. Um, this page, I used a found relative again and just used some of the new fabric tape. I forgot to show you guys the fabric tape. Okay, here's a big portion of that fabric tape. And it's really sticky, which is nice, but yet you can reposition it if you need to. So there's two, in fact, let me show you. Okay. Here's one roll. And here's the other. This is the one I'm showing you right here. And it just has a backing on it, which makes it really nice for, um, you know, you just peel it off and stick it down wherever. Um, okay, so um, back to this page. So I use a little bit of that fabric tape here and here, you know, just little pieces of it. Um, some of the, this is old, this is the um, tape measure. And then um, here I used a new item that is a metal book plate or frame. They come in oval and this rectangle and in two colors, the bronze and the gunmetal color. And then see underneath, see that little piece of fabric? That, see it's it's underneath all the way. 
those are new to the line. They're told, called stitched scraps. And see the black stitching on it there? They're all ready to go. And they're in linen felt, different fabrics, different colors stitching. And then I used a pin nib. And then on this side, I used um, some of the bugs and mushrooms that are new to the ephemera packs. Um, there's, you know, mushrooms, bugs, butterflies, flowers, all kinds of things. I used a milk cap, and you guys, these are new, the hardware heads. Remember the small ones from last year? Well, now they're huge. <laughs> and that's the smaller one. I really like them. They're really a neat addition. And then I, I, I stitched these two pages together to create this pocket and then just made a tag. Pretty simple, really. I just stuck down some, some of that fabric tape and different ephemera and then just stitched around. Pretty simple little tag there. And then this page, um, over on this side, I've used my tag press to create this metal rim tag, um, a little, the small hardware head, I think you can see, and used a found relative and just tore some of this scrapbook paper to create a frame and just use this on this ticket, put some lace and fabric there. And then on this side is the new ephemera. And then these are new, you guys, these little metal tags in, instead of just like the old ones where they say one word, now they say a quote, like stay curious. And then I made this page to flip out. Hope I've been in frame. <laughs> Um, okay, so I made this one to flip out, used one of those little metal looking pieces. I don't know what they're called, you guys. <laughs> and then, um, a tag from the tag set, little ephemera pieces here and there. These are those quote chips that are thick. Stuck it on there. Another one of those little stitch scraps in felt with a little label that's in the ephemera pack. And that's it. I really like this page. It's one of my favorites. And the next page, um, I used, I just layered some of the memoranda papers and then used ephemera from the new pack. I love this bee. I think he's one of my favorites. I love that little guy. And then this is new as well. They're made to look like they're cut from book pages, kind of all cattywampus cut. And there's birds, butterflies, trees, you know, nature stuff. And they're so neat. I love them. And over here, I just used a metal frame with a button and some lace, um, a metal tab with um, a little flower tucked in there, the bouquet flowers. And then again, I made another tag. I stitched these two pages together to create a pocket, made a tag, did a little stamping, added a ticket, added a playing card. That's a little bit of that fabric tape. And just put it right in there. Um, this page, you guys, this vellum's new. There's an, a new set of vellum, which they are replica postcards in cityscapes, florals, um, you know, like scenery. And so what I did is I put this found relative underneath. I thought it really looked neat. I really like this vellum. I love vellum anyway. And then here I've just used the, the stitch scraps, um, one of the little quote, metal quote pieces there and a little bold pin, a little bit of that tape. And then um, this this is a piece of ephemera I just tore in half, put on each side. And over here, I've used one of the tickets from the, did I show you? Oh, I gotta show you the ticket book. It's so cool, you guys. Okay, so this is the new ticket book. Check out all the new tickets. And they're perforated. You tear them out, you get that perforation. And some of them, like these, you can tear in half. They are, it's really neat. I love these. Again, for us journal makers, those are really cool. Okay, so um, over here, I just, oh, and these numbers are new. There's no, there's a black and white pack with just all kinds of neat stuff in it. Um, you know, numbers, there's, there's all different numbers, just tons of stuff, you guys. It's so cool. And more of that tape with a little piece of the measuring tape on top, another hardware head. And that's that page, you guys. All right. So the next one, I did a sewing theme. You guys, these buttons are new to the line. There's a whole pack of um, old fashioned, you know, looking buttons. And they're so neat. I really like them. 
And I this is the black and white pack. I just cut a little piece down, put it over this fabric snippet here. And that's a little snap that's rusty. And here's another one of those little stitch scraps in the red. I like the red. Um, and the found relative. Some older pieces of ephemera, which I thought went really well. These are in the new chipboard pack. They have that... Um, they're raised up. I really like that. And these have these particular ones have the holes cut in them, which allowed me to just stitch it down was nice. So the stamp is from the new ephemera pack. I used some eyelet, some vintage sewing pattern paper. And that's it, you guys. This is the back. New piece of the ephemera right there and there. Okay, so this is it. I love this little book. I don't want to give it up. <laughs> I want to keep it. Love the mushrooms. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up, uh, shut off the camera. I will be right back with my second project for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll be right back, you guys. Bye.